Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Anna with Cottage on Oak. First off, we went and took a trip to Silver Dollar City in Branson and we had a great time. And once it was time to come home, I had the kids set up to do some fall activities while I got started on cleaning up the house. I usually like to have the house clean for when I get home, but that just did not happen. So I had to do that when we got back. And my sister was able to let her boyfriend um, pick up this rug for me from Memphis, Tennessee. It is an antique Persian Harrods rug. I am so in love with it. I wanted to buy one from House of Tokemon, but her rugs sell like hotcakes and I uh, waited too long. And then this one came up and I was so happy that it did. It was $280 total, which is an amazing deal. This quote-unquote blanket is actually a vintage sleeping bag that I bought at a yard sale this past summer and to give the house that fall feel I threw it over the couch and then I bought this ottoman recently off of Facebook marketplace for $50 it is humongous but that's okay I've been wanting one online for 150 so 50 bucks I'll take it I'm dressing her up with this large mirror but it looks small on the ottoman with some flowers on top and i love it so much in my living room all the furniture has that studded detail on it and almost every piece is tufted so while it's all thrifted there's still some cohesiveness going on with the furniture and on this chair i love this blanket bought it at a goodwill for eight bucks it's 100 percent wool and it definitely gives that fall feel and this um area as you can tell this is kind of a flashback of what i am doing with my living room i bought a new piece of furniture so i needed to adjust and move some things around and get rid of some things and that happens it was again 150 bucks that big I'm going to call it a curiosity cabinet, and I wanted to put it here where the mirror used to go. So I moved the mirror, as you saw before, over by the door, so that way I have a bigger space for my Christmas tree when that goes up. And here's kind of the finished product of the cabinet. Right now I'm cooking, but I wanted to share with you some items I found while my food's cooking. This was at a yard sale. It was for free. I could not believe it. But anyways, the cover photo is gorgeous. Normally I throw these away, but I really like that photo. But this is like a linen covered book. It's so nice, really great quality. Look at that, even that is just gorgeous. So this was for free. And it just shows like pictures of different interiors, which you know, I cannot get enough of interiors. There's a YouTube channel on here called The Tartan Topiary, and she does a video, every one of her videos is usually about an interior designer's book, and a little bit about them, and she'll show the book and the pictures of the inside of the book, and it's just a great, great channel, and sometimes she'll share like a DIY that she does, or some of her own personal interiors and antiques that she owns and it's just a really great channel and sometimes her husband's on there and they're just really cute together but anyways the tartan topiary which i'm sure you she has a much larger following than i do so i'm sure you know who she is but if not you can go check her out anyways look at that it's just gorgeous i love flipping through books like this for inspiration it's like a it's like a Pinterest, but in your hand, tangible. I just love the colors on this book. At that same yard sale, I got this Martha Stewart cookbook, and she is all the rage right now, as you can see, <laughs> from Dad for Christmas, 2007. And then here's another one. I guess they rebought it for your birthday, 2015. I just thought that was funny. And here I am getting it in 2024 at a yard sale. Just lots and lots of recipes. Chocked full of recipes. A few photos, but not a lot. Not a lot of photos, mostly recipes. So I'm excited. I've already flipped through this. 
I'm so excited about this. And yes, I did watch her little documentary. It was not what I was fully expecting. And then I got this Julia Childs cookbook. I'm currently reading the beginning right now, so I've got it bookmarked. But the previous owners had some recipes bookmarked here. Let's see. And uh, she has it in French and then the English translation below. I am just so excited about this. And once again, I'm going to keep the cover because this one's actually nice looking. But it's hardback and look, oh, that is so pretty. Anyways, love, love, love this book. So excited. At that same yard sale, I got these two copper, I guess that's a colander, uh, strainers. And I have these copper pans. These are not my favorite with this handle. They're like a cheaper version. I like the ones like this with the golden handle and they're thicker. I also got these VHS tapes and this DVD for 50 cents each. When I was younger, I watched everything Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen. They had a TV series, multiple, tons of movies, so it's my goal to like find all of them. And then I bought the November-December Victoria magazine. This one just came out. It was like $8 and then $8 for shipping, so it was a little less than $16 to have this shipped to my house. I'm so excited about this. I love the Victoria magazines, as you know from my channel. I have an extensive collection going on. And the homes in these magazines are just beautiful. I am loving all the inspo for the holidays. I love this. I want to paint my living room from blue to a cream. But just for Christmas, I might leave it blue because the glow of the tree just looks so beautiful with the blue background. So we shall see. Anyways, this is the new magazine. I like to keep these two cookbooks right here in my kitchen. This is like my work area, my workstation for cooking. And I just like to have them there to easily grab. And then I wanted to share my laundry recipe. I use this to wash my clothes. I just mix pure baking soda and borax into this glass container and I leave it in my laundry room. I do like a layer of baking soda, then borax, baking soda, borax, baking soda, borax, so on and so forth. And it cleans my clothes pretty great and it cleans them and it's healthy. Well, healthy, I just mean it's low on toxins, which is all you can ask for in today's world. And I just leave it up here on my shelf in my laundry room, and it works great. Also, I don't like the mess that liquid deter uh, detergent leaves in, like, jars and stuff, so this is, like, mess-free. And now I am switching up once again my mantle. And my lovely husband just had to make an appearance, I guess. <laughs> I love these two prints up here, but it's just, mm, I don't know, not my favorite. So I wanted to have a clean slate, clean everything off and up, dust all these nooks and crannies on the mantle to get everything nice and clean. And I'm moving this mirror up onto my mantle. This spot in my kitchen is pretty dark, and so I'm hoping the mirror will help lighten things up a little bit. And this is a large mirror. I bought it on my honeymoon at an antique store. It was $30. Alright, I have two extension cords in here. This is what's what the mantle is covering up is this pilot light. And I extended it up through here, up the back. Here it is sticking out. I'll just hide this behind the mirror. Let's plug it in and see if it works. My parents got me this for Christmas this past year and I just took the lampshade off and I leave it bare like this and I love that. And then I got this book from my sister. It's a book of pictures of Princess Diana and it's just such a cool book to flip through fashion wise, you know, historical wise. But anyways, I used that to kind of lift the book up a little bit. I mean, the lamp up. 
and it adds an extra layer which you know I'm all about layers. So I did three on this side and then I added some books on the other side of the mantle as well to give it that symmetry. I wanted the candles to like reflect in the mirror so that's why I have so many kind of like a Harry Potter feel. And then this garland I made a year or two ago and it's still going strong so I'm just draping it on some nails that were already <laughs> in the wall. I usually nail about 20 times to hang something up because that's just how I do it. But the garland gives it that extra small layer but a touch of fall and I love that. And I added some plates up on the wall which I love as well. I've been wanting to do that for forever and I finally did it. So let me know what you think of this mantle down below. I added some blue ribbon throughout just to give it some more color. And then this week I worked on a wedding. I've been helping my husband's Aunt Karen. She's a florist for over 50 years and she's teaching us. And we did this mantle and all the pieces on the tables, on these columns. We worked, it took a long time and it was a lot of flowers. But it was so much fun. I love playing with flowers and doing this. So please like and subscribe, and the new thing is you have to comment, so please comment down below, let me know what you think, and I will see you next time. And I forgot, here's a random clip of our campsite at Silver Dollar City. It was so beautiful. Thanks.